Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Kingdom of David. Coincidentally, my character has the flu, as do I. I, however, do not have fever or headaches and chills. I just have a very, very snot-filled nose and a deep voice. So we're going to keep playing, though, because I, uh, I haven't played CK2 in a day or two. I've, I've, I've kind of really been under the weather and haven't really done anything. I missed my stream the other day and I just, I just want to play anyway. So anyway, let's see how we're doing. We are Duke Phineas of Phineas and Ferb. Of House Semyon. Uh, actually, no, excuse me, we're House Gideon, but uh, the ducal title we have is Semyon. So, uh, we recently swore fealty to this man, our liege, King Odagosh. Odagosh, oh my, oh my gosh, he says. Um, he's a celibate, zealous man, so he, he doesn't like us too much. We have negative 34 opinion right now. We have improved relations just once. He thinks we're an infidel. We're a faction member, which also affects his opinion of us, and we're very unlikely to get any support to murder this man. However, he is 51. So hopefully he'll, uh, you know, kick the bucket sometime soon. We've recently taken the carousing focus because I'm going to try to basically get everybody sloshed and uh, tell some good jokes and hopefully make them appreciate our sense of humor. Um, or get them all infected with the flu and then make them die. That could be cool too. Uh, let's go ahead and play on like speed three or so while we get our bearings straight. We're still feudal. We're still Jewish. We are uh, of the two. I think, I think we're still like the two living... No, our son's not landed. They're, they're, we're literally, I think, if I remember correctly, the only Jew. <laughs> the only Jew in the whole map, on the whole damn map that has any land. Let's just confirm that that's true, because it's a big deal. So size. Mm-hmm. Jewish. Size of Jewish is two. And when it says two, what it's talking about is the number of actual, like, county-level holdings that are held by Jews. And since we have two counties, that's why it's showing two. We're the only Jew. Yes. Now, hopefully that means we get thousands and thousands of ducats when people get, you know, borrow from us, but that's not actually how it works. Where the money comes from, nobody knows. These days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time, it brings you closer to your companions and feels like good friends already. You're my best friend, Mayor Mangesha. <laughs> are you going to be my friend? Yes, he is. Sweet. Very nice. So that means that we don't have to put him on the council anymore. <laughs> Basically. Hey, uh, Mayor Mangesha. Thank you for becoming my friend. Uh, you're fired. I mean, basically, even if he's uh, a powerful vassal, <laughs> it's kind of ironic, actually, that he's even considered that. He makes, like, no money at all. He's the mayor of uh, Tinginya. So, his city here has a grand levy of, like, a hundred men, and he's considered to be, quote-unquote, powerful. <laughs> anyway, he loves us so much that we can actually fire him, is my point, and we can maybe try to get somebody else who's a little bit better. Uh, he is our chancellor, though, and he's actually pretty good at the job. I don't think there's anyone who's better. Oh, never mind. I was hoping that it was, like, our steward. We want to become friends with our steward because we could we could definitely replace him with someone who's significantly better. For now, though, we're just basically going to have to bide our time and wait and see what happens. Our leash has declared a holy war. The time for carousing is over. We've gained 20 prestige. We've gained the trait, or the, the temporary modifier, carouser, plus one diplomacy. Nice, we're up to plus 15. And there was something else at the bottom, but I failed to read it because I'm a noob. So, uh, let's see, our liege is still only at war with this, uh, this thing down here. My liege, the people of Medina have progressed uh, beyond our own te technological levy, uh, level. Thank you, good, good, good and awesome. Okay, so, the Muslims here do have some decadence to work on. Let's go up to speed 4, because, uh, oh, partially I'm, I'm just keeping the game paused, but also, there's some other stuff there. We have negative prestige, we're doing okay-ish on money. We make a grand total of 26 ducats a year, of which we end up giving our liege 3. Actually, sorry, we, we, we net 26 after having paid our, our liege, the three. Uh, Rabbi Fethi approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument, something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold and your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. Well, um, he is our steward. His opinion of us isn't really that important. I mean, if we look at the levy, the, I'm, I'm trying to min-max things here that really don't matter, right? This guy is uh, Rabbi Fethi. Um, he could provide you with at most 36 troops. Of this, you are able to raise 8 <laughs> due to crown setting, crown law setting the minimum to 20%. So he could provide us with at most 36. Um, I've forgotten these days how that math actually works out, really. But um, in order to get the maximum levy you can get, you do need 100 opinion. And you have to take a look at like the laws. Uh, the vassal... Okay, so he's a mayor. The burghers provide us with... Uh, a minimum of 30% and a maximum of 50%. So, yeah, 
Maximum levy minus 50%. I could have sworn at one point I knew exactly how to calculate it, and now I feel like I'm just, like... He owns 96. If the crown law is setting the maximum to negative 50%, meaning half of the troops should be raisable, how do we go from 96 down to 36? 36 out of 96 is 37.5%, not 40, not 50%. How did we get there? I think the same thing has happened to me before where I, I've gotten confused by it, and I think it's because of the whole change to like liege levy mechanics. Basically, I just, in general, you need more, opinion's good, so we might as well just go ahead and spend the money. Whatever, we'll, we'll see what he builds. His opinion of us is kind of important. Um, when we're really small like this, and we have we have we have no 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 um actual nobles. We're the only noble, right? Everything everyone below us is uh, a church or a burger. So these are the only two we should even consider changing. Do we want to try to get more money so we could upgrade our own holdings, or do we want to try to get more levy? I think long term we might be better off going for the levy, because uh, then they'll have more money, which means that they'll upgrade their buildings more. Um. And that, that seems okay. I mean, it's the same overall amount of money is going to be made, whether we're taxing it or we are not. Then again, just being able to build up our own personal holdings first and then giving them, giving them the money eventually in the future is probably going to be a better option. It's, it's not a huge swing in overall money, but, you know, we're currently earning 30%. We could earn 35%. That's like a 16% raise on our, on our taxes. So take 9.4 divided by 30 times 35. You have to like 10.96 ducats. <laughs> so it's like a ducat a year, basically. That's pretty weak. If you think about it. Is it even worth is it even worth dicking with? Probably not. Might even be better just to do the uh the churches, come to think of it, because this this first this next movement here takes them from 30 to, to 40. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would probably go for that. Alright. That should update probably next month, be my guess. So how's our leash doing? You've recovered well from the flu, I feel better. Oh, well, thank you, game. Could I please stop sniffling in real life now? That, that is the real, the real brub. Please, please, pretty please. I wish it was, I wish it was that easy, if I could just, you know, hire a court physician. And have him take care of it for me, it'd be wonderful. I want to celebrate Passover. Let's do it in July. The monument he has prized has already been a year, my god. The statue is unveiled, unveiled, and it's just a bigger version of Rabbi Fethi, only slightly better looking than the real Rabbi Fethi. I don't know about this. <laughs> he gains 200 prestige, and uh, my opinion of him goes down by 10 because I'm very disappointed. Great. Or tear it down, he will be put in his place. We can become rivals now with our steward. Well, that was not uh, exactly what I was hoping for. I wanted, I wanted to be friends with you, man. You crazy bastard. Fine, I... I I don't really know about this. Alright, so we are now making 12.1 ducats in church tax. That is going to... I think that does... Does that actually affect their opinion of us? They don't like the new obligation. I think they dislike it in general, unless you're moving towards the center. I wonder how long that... Does it actually say how long it lasts? It should. Until 775, uh, October the 14th. 775. So for five years, they're going to be a little bit upset. That we have changed the laws slightly. We have an unmarried heir. He just turned 16. I did not get a pop-up about him turning older. I'm guessing because I uh, wasn't the educator, be my guess. Anyway, he's got a rash. Itching and causing pain. Yuck. Uh, there are no women. None women available for him in the marriage finding tool. Sweet. You know what we're going to have to do is probably going to have to present a debutante. Just, you know, create a woman. We could try, like, ask our liege, like, hey, liege, do you have any women? I want to marry my son to a woman, but it, it's not going to give us any. So, yeah, we have to pre present debutantes. We have to bring Judaism to the forefront. Niala has arrived. Ooh, she's uh, a bit arbitrary, but, oh, and Chase, that's no good. Her stats are god-awful. Zero stewardship, no. Should we get rid of her? Nah, yeah, why not? I think that what that does... Here, if I go back... Yeah, <laughs> vanished without a trace. It's just, it didn't say she was going to murder her. 
Hmm, a horny, gregarious woman. That's, that's more my style. Well, more my son's style, I suppose. Yeah, go ahead. Unfortunately, our son's going to lose a bunch of prestige now, too. For, uh, having married a, a lowborn, but... Hey, you know what? Judaism's gotta start somewhere. My young wife has taken a passion for romantic poetry. She keeps reading any sort of poetry she can get a hold of. Get her more to read. For ten ducats, we can make her more fertile. Uh, she will also become lustful. It's some seriously good poetry, let me tell you. And, uh, her interests are encouraged. Her, <laughs> her opinion of us changes by three. <laughs> not thirty, not, not, not like any kind of real number. No, three. Wow. That's not very much. I mean, she's already preggers, but, uh, yeah, sure. Three whole opinion. Woman, I, I expect you to, uh, not murder me, by the way. Let's give her some money to go down and spend stuff on baubles at the marketplace. It's a waste of money, but, I don't know, from a roleplay perspective, I just like the idea that our woman likes us at least a little bit above zero. <laughs> Would be nice. We have a new son named Sisse. Very well. Let's see, our our second, our firstborn actually does have a, a martial education. And I, I usually do err on the side of martial, and especially when you're very weak, uh, it's important that you're strong enough that you can protect yourself, but also when you're a vassal, it's a little bit different. Um, the stewardship style focus, or the intrigue style focus, can be better. Although, these are interesting, this is, this is like white, green, red, and blue, which lead to those other ones. How exactly do we get a good intrigue education? Common trait outcomes for this focus are playful and indolent. Alright, let's see which traits we want for... We, we want to make an intriguing character. Those are not good for intrigue. Deceitful can be good. Lunatic could be fun. Um, so this one's not horrible. Humble Shy and Craven are all god-awful. Those are all bad. Nope. Zealous, Erudite, and Frail are all not interesting. These are pretty likely just to be stewardship related. Shrewd, cynical, or sympathies for other religions. Patient, greedy, paranoid. Paranoid can be good for a spy master. Brooding. Haughty. Proud, arbitrary, cruel. I I'm thinking maybe this one. The, uh... No, that's not right. The, uh, either the etiquette for playful. Try to become gregarious or deceitful. Possibly lunatic for funsies. Or I suppose we could go for the curious one. Shrewd, cynical, sympathies for other religion. But the learning doesn't really appeal to me very much at all. Yeah, let's go for etiquette. Now we do have title loss in succession because the crown law, or the, the, the actual inheritance law in our duchy, is uh, currently set to Gavelkind. We're nowhere near our domain limit, so we might as well just change over to a different type if we can. We could do elective. Try to vote for the people that we like. It's an option. Let's make our, our son into a marshal so that he gets some... Uh, Get some stuff. Commander of Simeon, plus one prestige each month. That's not bad. That'll help offset some of the penalties here. We could try to make him assemble into a mercenary company. We would have far less uh, overall uh, stuff. Levy. But let's be realistic. Our levy's pretty damn not useful at the moment. I am looking for honorable titles. I would like to give an honorable, t honorable title to him as well. But we don't have any available right now. So, as soon as one becomes available, we'll give it to our son. Let's see, if we were to assemble a mercenary company, it's 50 gold, brings together a band of soldiers, and starts to look for employment. Let's just see, like, how crappy would this make our country? We already have owner marshal skill minus 45%. Our levy is 157. And 100 and 258. I mean, it's, it's, it's not good. We can raise, like, a grand total of 400-some men. Like, we're gonna die the second anyone actually tries to attack us. We're crying out loud, the garrison is stronger than the levy. It's it's so bad. Ugh. I'm gonna do it. Let's let's go for it. I think as a vassal, it makes sense. It can make sense to to assemble a mercenary company. I've tried it once, I think it was in the past, and it was it it went okay. I immediately disbanded it because it ended up becoming not good. But uh, for fifty gold, we lose fifty gold. He brings together a band of soldiers and starts to look for employment. Alright, so that also unappointed him as a commander, unfortunately. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Do you gain prestige for being a... No, you don't. You don't gain any prestige anymore. Uh, as the captain of the Semian Band, the Jews go marching one by one. Hurrah. Alright, so if we look at the mercenaries list now, we should be able to find him. Gideon Gideon of the Semian Band. 
He's got 100 total troops. That's 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 rather pathetic, son. <laughs> okay, we've lost 30% levy, 10% uh, max manpower, and 10% manpower growth. So yeah, it's an extra 30% malice on our on our levy. Basically, the train troops offsets it, but... Again, I, I don't really think it's a big issue. We were like, what, 450 men? That cost us like 200 men. Whatever. Could be interesting. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, we just got an achievement. What's up with this? Mer Merco transaction. I'm unfamiliar with this. Create a mercenary band and have them bring in money for you. Wait, is he? Did someone hire him? Already? No way. He's on contract. Holy crap! Under contract with the Kingdom of Abyssinia. Our liege has hired our son. Sweet. <laughs> Good job. Good job, uh, dude, man. So monthly cost is uh, 0.72 ducats. Does that mean that that's what we're getting? Do we get that whole amount? Um, it doesn't say. I mean, the achievement makes me think that we should be seeing money coming in, but... Oh, there it is! Now, now it's showing up. Mercenaries hired. Gideon, 1.3 ducats per year. <laughs> Great, so it's only going to take you like 50 years of being on contract to pay back the 50 ducats I, I spent. <laughs> Sweet. That's great. Good job, my boy. Uh, wow. Hopefully he's like earning some experience or something. Some some prestige and stuff. He's got, uh... He's got no personal income at all. Wait, let's go find him. Let's go see what it's doing. What, what he's up to. He's up to 102 men. Nice. Uh, let's see. Go to location. Leading troops in Axum. So, we have the army of Gideon, Abyssinia. 1,217 troops out of 1,433. So it looks like he's hired that itty bitty tiny little mercenary company and he's merged it in with his own personal levy. We can see here in his numbers that he's got uh, hired 101. Yep. Cool. It all sounded as another of Mayor Mangesh's paranoid delusions, but I had a, had to agree when he invited me to for dinner that the food had an odd taste and a rather strange lingering aftertaste. Someone might be trying to poison Mayor Mangesha. Uh, do we want to try to become friends even more with so with our friends? Or, I feel fine, the food tastes funny, but it's not poison. Give me some coins and I'll have this figured out in no time. Alright, sure, let's see what he does. How many monies do you have? Give me 57 ducats. Mission so far has been a success. That's like three times in a row he's, he's made our leash like us a little bit better. Plus 60. It was a fine bluff, telling Mayor Mangesha I needed expensive equipment to determine if the food was poisoned or not. As soon as I had tasted the stew, I knew the strange taste was from rancid meat poorly covered up with enough spices to water your eyes. Mayor Mangesha tried to decide if he wanted to take a risk of being poisoned or if it was worth paying what I deemed a fair cost. <laughs> a 4.2 ducat. <laughs> Everything's so small at our level right now. Yeah, we're, we're likely to take a number of years to actually rise to power, being one of the only Jews. If we weren't the only Jew, we could already be getting started on trying to murder people and, like, uh, get titles and stuff, but... I know that one of my slothful courtiers is capable of more than he realizes, my steward. Uh, it is for, our, for the best. It's apparently annoying to be friends with someone more ambitious than yourself. Why else would Rabbi Fethi ignore me? He's got a green-eyed monster on his shoulder. All right, fair enough. Hey, game, I thought that I was no longer sick. When, when, when was that going to uh, affect me in real life? So, let's see. Harlige. This guy, he's got two provinces. This guy is a... Another Coptic. Uh, my Fizzite. Got 900 troops of his own. You have 446. I suppose it's possible so long so long as uh, the the liege uh, laws allow us to declare war internally that we could 
theoretically beat this guy and take over one of his provinces. And since we do have domain size available, it might not be a bad idea to try to fabricate a claim. I mean, our Chancellor's not, not bad at it. He's been doing a pretty damn good job making this guy like us at least enough that I'm hoping that he won't try to revoke our territory. We could always leave the faction to get another attentive opinion as well. My opinion of my liege is apparently very, very low. I dislike new obligation law. Uncontrolled vassal wars is something I like. I want to be on the council, but he doesn't like me enough. Apparently he's changed uh, one of the obligations. He's shifted the noble uh, obligation law in favor of levy. Well, that's actually part of the reason probably why we have so few troops then. I'm not so sure we want to stay in this faction. I mean... We could go for Prince Didum instead. His opinion of me is negative 37. It's not as good as this other guy, but let's just say that you were in charge. Ah, uh, no, you're another zealous man. It would not be very good for us. Let's just leave the faction for now. Um, We could try doing elective succession. I don't really want to raise council power, because eventually I'm expecting that we're going to become the king, so it's just kind of working against myself. Let's see if anyone wants to join these factions. If we could get someone else to support us, it could help out. <clears throat> Let's see. Do, 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 do. I had a thought, I was going to do something, and now I've forgotten completely what it was. Oh, I wanted to check um, what the council laws are right now. It's completely abolished in the duck in the duchy and in the kingdom it is completely abolished as well yeah I don't think we want increased council power let's just keep it abolished it'll make things a lot simpler probably unless we can't unless we can't rise to power in which case that would suck a lot but uh, we'll see all right I'm gonna take a break here I'll see you again in the next episode thank you as always for watching I'll see you soon